Hey, hey guys, it's your girl Vita May, and uh, thank you for joining my YouTube videos. Um, I really appreciate the support. Today I will be doing a miniature pick mold or comb, depends on where you live and what you call it. I will be adding some flowers. If you're not already following me, go ahead and click the subscribe button button and if you have questions or or anything you want to see just let me know and i'll maybe try to do it for you i have some flowers here some pressed flowers some resin and the first thing that i'm going to do is i've already pre-mixed some resin and i've added some flakes you can also find me on um on tiktok resin by vita may and i'm also on instagram um I've already put in um, some of the flakes. Just going to put down a very light coat, but I want to make sure that I get in these grooves. Okay, so let's make sure we get in the grooves. I'll move it up and down. I do have, um, let me see, what do you call it? Some pipes. I don't know if that's the correct word, but those suction e things that you use for small crevices but I don't want to really make the videos too long so I'm just going to kind of do the mashing technique that's where I put the resin down and then I mash it like I'm spreading peanut butter just making sure that I get it into every nook and cranny especially right here but I also want to clean it up so it's moving around a little bit all right, so first we're gonna put down the resin and we're gonna try to get it into all the grooves here first because that's really important. You wanna make sure that your comb area has enough resin in there. I can see the little areas. I don't know if it's clear for you guys. There's some bubbles that are happening. I normally use like a toothpick or something like that to clean it up. But the first thing is just to make sure that you have enough resin down inside so that and no air bubbles, but we'll get them later. I feel confident at this moment and I'm going to move on, okay? Actually, let me give it a little heat. So it's gonna be a little bit of noise, guys, just for a few seconds. The heat is to pop the bubbles. Excellent. Okay. And so let's arrange our flowers. I'm going to put uh, the big one right there. I did wipe off my tweezers in between. I am going to add some blue, but I'm going to break this. Oops, stuck on my finger. Let's just kind of put them in there and move it around. And there's a little one right here. I'm going to kind of break this. Kind of put that down. Maybe turn it. The angle of the camera sometimes, guys, is a little off. And then I have this. I have some petals. I'm not going to use the whole thing. Because this is a very small mold. And I don't want it to take up everything. So I'm just going to put a couple of leaves actually I'm kind of doing this backwards I think or upside down so you just kind of figure it out there is no right there is no wrong way of doing this you kind of just go with the flow I think there is a such thing as overdoing it though overkill so I think I'm gonna stop one more maybe up there let go it's not going to let go. Maybe it does not want to go. Let's put it there. Oh, see, it went there. Okay, guys. So the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just fill the remaining part up because I still have some more resin. I actually normally do this in two steps. I normally do it and I normally let this sit and then I normally put a clear coat of resin over there 
but I actually have a little bit of resin. I'm just going to put it over here. I will have to continue with some more resin later. But I have to wait. I like to wait in between applications. I'm not going to um, fill this completely up. One of the reasons why I don't fill this completely up is because sometimes you have little floaties. They don't always just sink and just stay there. They float to the top. So if you do fill your mold all the way up the first time, um, sometimes you get it float up and you can't really fix it because of how deep the mold is. So I like to do like half the mold. And then what I like to do is I like to come back later and fill it up so that you'll get that nice coat over top of your um your resin um i'm going to heat it again with the heat gun but that's basically all that you do next we're going to demold i'll see you in a moment all right guys i am back before the demolding i forgot to show you a little cleanup mold um a little cleanup that i have learned a q-tip you take a q-tip I'm just trying to get that off. It won't go. Please go in. Drop off in your new home. What you do is you take a Q-tip over the mold. And what you're doing is you're cleaning up the uh, silicone. Because when you make a mess like I did, when you go to um, remove it, it's going to be hard. And you're going to have a lot of sanding to do. So what I like to do is I like to clean up while it's still wet. You don't have to be perfect with this. Just go around the edges, just clean a little. You may still have a little bit of uh, resin that went over, but it'll be easier to pop off than if you have a whole bunch. If you have a whole bunch, you're gonna have to sand it. And I do not like sanding after my project is done. So if you use that simple technique and you just do a little wipe around, I tell you, I promise you, it goes a long way. Hey guys, it's been roughly about eight hours, uh, maybe 12, I'm not sure. But let's say about 12 hours and now we're going to demold this. You simply just start at one corner and you start peeling it back. I personally like to get um, these corners out first. Now and I'm purposely doing this while it's still a little uh, pliable. It is molded, you'll see this, uh, because I have done this and it has been hard. And it was hard or there was a lot of bubbles or there was different things. I personally like to demold mine early. I don't like for mine to just sit in and I put it on what I call a curing station. Look at that. Like even with this, I can just fix this. This is no problem. It bends right back into shape. Trust me, I've been doing this a long time. I don't know why I like to do it at this stage. I like to, it's easier to clean up if I have any rough edges. Look at this, guys. Remember how I showed you about cleaning the edge and the excess? If anybody ever done this comb, you know you get a whole lot of these, right? You get a whole lot of those if you overdo it. I like to, I only have one. Let's see how many I have. I only have one. That's amazing. You guys know it's amazing. Wait till you do this mold for the first time. So here we are. I am happy with the product. I'm happy with both sides. I feel like I don't have to dome it. I have enough resin in there. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is this one is uh, small. I'm not sure if I have the right size. Let's see. I might have to turn the camera off and come back. Because this doesn't feel like it's big enough. Hold on guys. All right, I'm back. So this jump ring was not big enough. I do not have a gold um, jump ring, which is this, that is big enough for 
to put this on there so I just put it on the side just so to show you guys but you can get a bigger one I do have silver bigger ones I just don't have a gold and I feel like with the gold leaves the gold would look better so I will fix that and later do a post of everything that I jacked up like I said this is trial and error and I am only human and guess what I make a lot of errors but when it works it works I love this little guy he will be 